Officers arrested 44-year-old Lamont Cousin, 65-year-old mother Virginia Lewis had been shot and killed. Owner Clay Turrentine and another employee, Veronica Jones, to an abandoned building where Cousins killed them. Three lives are lost. Mark Twain once said, when I was younger, I could remember anything, whether it happened or not. My father told me, memories are all we are. <laughs> Moments. Feelings captured on threads of reason. He'd say, take a man's memory and you clean the slate. Chip away at his memory and he'll slowly die. At first it was the simple things. Keys, wallet, and then it was where did he park the car. Then it was names. Who are you? Faces. Even his own address. Do you have any children? Daughter. What's your name? My biggest fear for my dad wasn't him forgetting me. It was him forgetting what he loved so much. But it's in the learning from those pages, from the notebooks. Police say 46-year-old Rodney Sanders confessed to the crime during an interrogation. He gave no reason for the crimes. The sheriff of Holmes County said police work and tips led police to Sanders, and the investigation is still ongoing. A memorial mass is scheduled for Monday for sisters Margaret Held and Paula Merrill. Samuel Graham attacked 60-year-old Diane Cothran in her car, threw her out of the car, leaving her paralyzed. Cothran died from her injuries. Diane Cothran was part of a group called the Fab Five. A woman Cothran was helping through her church asked Cothran to give her brother a ride home. North Charleston police say the man who needed the ride was Samuel Graham. Police say once inside the car, Graham beat Cothran in the neck and head. Beat her and threw her out of her car and left her in the middle of the road to die. 